Hi, uh, my name's Brent Mayhew. Uh, I'm the head of the School of uh, Art, Design and Fashion here at Solent University. And I've been asked today to talk to you about what it's like studying on creative courses. Now the courses I'm going to look at today, I'm going to talk about, are photography, graphic design, illustration and fine art. They're very different and I want to talk about the career in each first and then I'll tell you what it's like in the average sort of week you're studying and what it kind of could be over like over three years. Well first off let's look at it, what it's like in the industry. There's only one of those that has a real set defined career path, that's graphic design. When you've studied graphic design at university you're very likely to be looking for job roles called junior designers. You may well work in a much larger company, uh, you might work for a newspaper or a TV station, anything along those lines, even web design would you believe. But you're going to be looking at a set junior designer's role. You then, after a few years, you will move to uh, a graphic designer, just called a graphic designer, or sometimes known as a middleweight designer. And then finally, maybe in your late 20s, early 30s, you'll be looking to become very much a creative director. So it's a very, very set defined route. An awful lot of people don't actually work for themselves as graphic designers when they first leave university. But they may well go on to start up their own companies. I did. Uh, so it's something that is quite common. Now that stands it apart from the others. Now let's look at the other two that are actually quite similar career pathwise. One's photography, one's illustration. They're two very, very different things to study. But actually career-wise, they've got a lot of similarities. I'll explain. So with both of them, it's very unlikely, unless you're in a real, real tight field, that you would look to get a job straight from university working for a larger company. Okay, with photography, there are some certain areas you might go into, such as uh, forensic photography, etc., that is a employed area. But even something like that is going to look at you possibly working very much as a junior for another photographer, maybe as you learn your trade. or you're going to set up freelance and that's where it does sit, share a lot with illustration. Illustration is the same. I actually started in, as an illustrator on a national newspaper. There was never really enough work for me to do illustration all the time, so I found myself doing graphic design. And that is often the case. There's very few companies that will employ illustrators in a full-time basis, but there's an awful lot of freelance work for illustrators, the same with photography. So they do kind of share that area. So when you're leaving university, you are very probably going to be looking for freelance work. And you should think about that when you study, because that's a different sort of working environment than knowing what a set wage is coming in every week. And then that leaves fine art. Fine art's completely different. Fine art is a real sort of vocation. It's a, it's a, it's, people are very passionate about fine art, the people that do it. But it's almost never would you be employed by somebody else full-time to be a fine artist. It's very unlikely. It's far more likely that you're going to be hunting around for commissions as you learn to become a, uh, as a, you learn to become a practitioner. And you're constantly probably going to have a lot of other jobs that are just going to help you practice to really craft your trade as a fine artist. It's not uncommon for fine artists to keep part-time jobs for their entire working life as they always create their own fine art on the side. Okay, so what's it like studying for all three? Well again, let's break them down, we'll start with one at a time. Here's an interesting thing, with graphic design and photography, they do share something in common at university, and that is that you've got to master techniques. Now in the case of a graphic designer, You've got to master learning such uh, programs as computer programs, as uh, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and InDesign. You've got to know those programs inside out. That's one of the really big things about being a graphic designer. Well, now there's a similarity with photography for a different reason. Yes, you'll learn Photoshop very likely, and maybe other programs like Lightroom, but you'll have to learn a lot of other techniques. You need to know everything about lighting, how the equipment works. There's an awful lot of technical instruction. That's what both courses share. So when you're at university, you can often find that about 50% of your week is technical instruction, learning the how do I use this, these, these, this equipment or this software, and the other 50% being the theory of, uh, in for example, graphic design, about typography, page architecture, learning all of that, the history. And then with photography, it's very similar actually, learning the history of photography, all the different genres of photography that are out there, all the different options to you. Now let's have a look at fine art and illustration. We'll start with illustration. 
The average week of an illustration is slightly different. You might well learn a bit of Photoshop, it might well be even a bit of typography, but the vast majority of what you do will be getting you to practice your trade and getting you to learn your own voice. Now, what we mean by that is, as an illustrator, you are going to be spending all your time using lots of different materials, trying different approaches, improving your drawing skills, your illustration skills, as you find the look and feel that is you. And at the same time, over the three years you're at university, you're going to be honing your skills at the theory and the history behind illustration, and more importantly, the employability. How do you freelance? How do you build that portfolio together? Is that similar to fine art? Yes and no. Fine artists are the same, but they're different. No two fine artists are similar. There isn't a case of fine artists always use brushes, or they always use pencils, or they do this or they do that. Fine art is really conceptual. It's about people creating work, artwork, that makes people stop and think. There's often far more, far more depth and conceptual ideas behind things. There's often a case of making people question things. So therefore, fine art is very, very personal. You'll find yourself at university, you'll learn some techniques. You might learn how to make canvases. You might learn how to use screen printing um, in the same way as an illustrator. You might well use other form of printing processes. You might learn how to use a potter's wheel, for example, those sorts of things. Okay, but they're just things for you to broaden your sort of knowledge base. The vast majority of what you're doing as a fine artist is actually working in the studio, working on your practice. Your briefs will always be about giving you an open idea of maybe you'll have a brief that'll just be about identity. What does that mean to you? Very, very open, very, very wide. Whereas at completely the other end, for example, a graphic design student may well have briefs in their second and third year that are actually coming from industry. We need this, we need this problem solved. They couldn't be further apart from each other. All of this is designed over three years. And think of it this way. In all of those courses in the creative sector, in year one, it's about lose, learning the tools of your trade, whatever they are. It's about opening you up to a lot of techniques you may have never ever used before, different printing processes, different photography processes. Year two is then you about discovering what you can do with those tools. You might, from as a graphic designer, as I say, problem solve actual real life briefs. As an illustrator, you might find yourself trying to have very open-ended uh, briefs, so you start developing a skill base of your own. And that's very similar with the fine art, very, very open. And then as a photographer, it's somewhere in between. Then your third year. Your third year at university will be very much a case of working towards a final major project. That final leaving card that is probably the biggest piece in your portfolio. And then alongside that, you'll have a lot of lessons around employability. And they're, they're very much focused as to what area you're going. From graphic designers learning how to put CVs together, learning how to put a good portfolio together. Well, I think in everyone a case of portfolio, and that is my final piece I want to leave you with. All of those courses, your degree will get you in through the door. The work, you getting work, and whether you want to become a graphic designer, or whether you want to start your own business up as an illustrator, or whether you want to get funding as a fine artist to produce work that's in the environment, or whether as a photographer you want to actually pursue a career maybe in the police. All of that is going to depend on your portfolio. And that's the most important thing. And your three years of study is constantly looking to, put, to produce that portfolio. And whichever university you go to, they will find, you will find that everyone focuses on that near the end. Because that, ultimately, is your calling card, what you're going to get out there and get and be successful in what you want to do. And to do the one thing that we all want to do as creatives. Have a creative life. I hope you found that useful. It's just a small insight into those uh, four courses, the sort of career you can get in them, and what it's like studying them. Thank you.